Thank you so much. Well, the federal government is already stepping in to help begin the recovery and rebuilding of Florida in the wake of Irma. As Tracy Potts tells us, it's going to be a costly operation. This morning, FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, has food and supplies stashed all over Florida at military bases, at Red Cross shelters. Wherever Hurricane Irma goes, we'll be there first. But how soon can they get it all out? Until the government governor requests it, we will not be moving in supplies. So those that sheltered in place should be ready to sustain themselves for a period of time. 20 miles from the center. They're most concerned about search and rescue in the Florida Keys. High winds making it hard for helicopters to land there. And all of that cost money. It's going to cost a lot of money. Right now we're worried about lives. President Trump huddling with his team at Camp David to make sure help and funds are flowing. FEMA almost ran out of money after Hurricane Harvey. Congress approved another $15 billion. That's going to run out in a few weeks. But insurance money won't. It's a big hurricane catastrophe fund. It's a reinsurance fund. It's got billions of dollars of reserves. Uh, people should be uh, well off because the insurance companies won't be going bust. But for uninsured losses, Congress will likely have to come up with more money by mid-October. Cost estimates for the cleanup and the recovery from hurricanes Harvey and Irma already in the hundreds of billions of dollars. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. And here in the coastal bend, victims of Harvey who are still in need of FEMA assistance can go online to disasterassistance.gov. You can also call FEMA. The number is 1-800-621-FEMA. We also have all this information posted for you at our website, ChrisTV.com. A FEMA spokesperson will join our Stephanie Jimenez tonight at 7 p.m. to answer your questions live on Facebook Live. On Facebook Live. So if you have a question, send them to our Chris 6 News Facebook page or submit them during our Facebook Live session. Again, that begins tonight at 7 p.m. And of course, don't forget about Give to the Golf, the fundraising drive sponsored by Chris TV and our parent company, Cordillera Communications. All donations go to the Coastal Bend Disaster Recovery Group and the local Red Cross. Chris Six and Cordillera will match up to the first $50,000 it's given. If you'd like to help, just go to ChrisSixCares.com or any First Community Bank or Value Bank office. Well, Delmar